Rise and shine. Rise. Shine. I can love my God with all my heart. I can love my God with all my soul. I can love my God with all my mind. I can love my God with all my strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. job! Stay standing to practice a verse from the Bible. Ephesians 5.14 says, That is why it is said. That is why it is said. Wake up, sleeper. Wake up, sleeper. Rise from the dead. Rise from the dead. Then Christ will shine on you. Then Christ will shine on you. Ephesians 5.14 Ephesians 5.14 Rise and shine, friends! My name is Chef Shelby, and I love to cook breakfast at new and exciting places. Today, we're at the fire station! <laughs> wow! Did you hear that? Th that's an alarm! That means the firefighters need to go help someone, and fast! Can you make the sound of a fire truck? Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo! Yeah! Great job! Hey friends, while they're gone, will you help me cook up a yummy breakfast for them? Yeah! You will? <laughs> Great! Well first, we need to put on our aprons. You can put your apron on like this. Put something over your head. Good! Now tie it. Tie it on yourself. Like this! <laughs> Great! But next, we need our chef hats. You can put your hat on too. Like this. Boop! <laughs> Great! You look amazing! And now we're ready to cook up a yummy breakfast. Today's menu? Pancakes. Do you like pancakes? Yeah! Yeah, me too. Rub your tummies and say, mmm, mmm, yum, yum! Now, let's take our mixing bowls. You, you can hold your arms out. Like this. And our spoons. You can just pretend. And let's stir, 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 stir. Good. Great job. Firefighters are special helpers who wear bright colored uniforms and hats. They're always ready to help you if you're sick. And if there's a fire, they put it out just to keep you safe. And if there's trouble, we love having a firefighter around to help. Huh, these pancakes, they're gonna take a little while to make. I know. There's an exciting Bible story about a kind woman named Tabitha 
who was really helpful too. Why don't you go ahead and watch that story while I make the rest of these pancakes? Tabitha was a follower of Jesus who lived in a town called Joppa. She was very kind and loved helping others. She sewed beautiful clothes and gave them to others who needed them. She was loved by everyone in the town because of her kind heart. One day, something sad happened. Tabitha became very sick and passed away. Everyone was so very, very sad. But don't worry, there's good news. A man named Peter was nearby, and Peter was a friend of Jesus, and he knew that God loves us and hears our prayers. He knelt by Tabitha's bed and prayed to God. Kids, can you fold your hands and pray too? He said, God, please help Tabitha come back to life. Suddenly, something incredible happened. God heard Peter's prayer and performed a miracle. Tabitha sat up in bed, completely healed. Kids, can you clap your hands to celebrate the good news? From the story of Tabitha, we can know that God loves us very much and he hears our prayers. <laughs> wow, what a story. That reminds me of our need to know. It goes like this. God gives love. Yes, God loved Tabitha and he brought her back to life. Sometimes people we love, like grandparents or other family members, become very old or sick and they pass away. We miss them very much. Show me your sad faces when someone we love isn't with us anymore. Yeah, it's okay to feel sad. Now here though is something amazing. God loves us and he sent his son Jesus to take our place and he died for us. When we love Jesus, God gives us something amazing, eternal life. This means that after we pass away, we can go to heaven and be with Jesus forever and ever. In heaven, there will be no more pain, no more hurting, and no more sadness. Can you imagine how wonderful it will be to be with Jesus in heaven forever? Close your eyes and let's just imagine such a place. Okay, open your eyes. Now let's review our need to know. God gives love. Very good. Hey, let's say it again together. Ready? God gives love. Oh, that's right. Great job. Sometimes hard things happen, but we can always know that God gives love to us always and forever. Let's sing. Stand up to celebrate this good news.
Hey guys, Anthony here. And I'd like to share with you something very exciting that we're doing together as a whole church. Like literally everyone, from toddlers and also to you, and then also all the way up to teenagers and even the adults. How cool is that? We are all spending the next six weeks rising as we wake up to the truth that God is a generous God. And we're also shining as we do our part to pray about how we can show that generosity to others. And that's exactly what it means to rise and shine. So everyone at Traders Point will be learning and praying about this together. Today, we are going to send you home with a gift. It's a very special placemat for you to have at home and talk to your parents about. And you could be praying together about how God can use your family to be giving toward others around you. Great singing. I love praising God for how much he loves us. And because God gives us love, we can love others. Mm -mm. Look, the pancakes are ready for the firefighters to eat. And boy, mm, do they smell so good. You did a great job today. You loved others by making them pancakes. Let's review the four things we learned today. Hold up one finger. One, firefighters are heroes who help people. Now hold up two fingers. Two, Tabitha loved helping people too. When she died, Peter prayed and God healed her. Now hold up three fingers. Three, God gives us love too. He sent Jesus so we can be with him forever. Now hold up four fingers and four. Because God loved us, we can love others. This is all such good news. Thank you for cooking with me today at the fire station. Do you hear that? Oh, it's another alarm. I'd better get this kitchen cleaned up quickly while the firefighters are out helping people. I'll see you next time. Bye.